Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the eight new balance changes coming with the new update. Uh, so I'll be giving you guys uh, all of my thoughts on what I think will be meta. And then obviously coming towards the world finals in a month's time. I think this is going to be the last balance change. So I'll be giving you guys a lot with this meta because I'll be grinding the game a lot. So I'll be giving you guys uh, the best tips for the upcoming month. So before we get into today's video, make sure you're using a credit code in the shop. That would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, so starting off the video with the best brawler in the game he has received well ash he has received two changes uh to him so the first one is going to be a buff it's going to be a buff to his first star power first bash so obviously behind the scenes in terms of like data that the first star power was used way less than the second star power uh which i thought they weren't too disbalanced i mean i probably was going to be using the second more often than not uh but obviously the data does say that the first star power is underused so this has changed from the rage gained uh, from the attack it is now 200% from 100% so that's obviously just going to mean that Ash is going to get raged up a lot easier with that star power and then uh, there's been a big change to the way that Ash is played Played so his reduced rage gained from taken damage his full rage now requires 125% of max HP taken and it previously was 75% so basically what this means is that it's going to be much harder uh, for Ash to get raged up especially when in uh, taken in damage and I always thought that was a bit of a disbalance like I felt like uh like the amount of damage you received you used to always receive a lot of rage for it and i felt like when you used to attack people you didn't really get rewarded for it but now there's a more of a balance to it and i think ash will slowly be a bit more of a balance bro. all right guys so next up we're talking about frank so frank has received two buffs uh to his kit so i think the first one is absolutely insane especially when paired with the power grab stop power so the first one is going to be his gadget change so irresistible attraction now doubles uh the damage of the attack as as well as pulling the enemies so i realized when you combine this with power grab you're going to be able to deal 5200 damage per attack with that gadget that is just insane you're going to be able to one shot so many different brawlers i feel like there's going to be a power grab frank meta i'm just going to go ahead and call that straight away uh, it's, it's just going to be insane power grab was always a little bit underrated i feel like it's just going to make it even stronger so that gadget is going to be a huge buff to frank uh, next up noise cancellation now gives immunity to el primo's suplex gadget so a small change that used to annoy me a little bit of the time but yeah frank i feel like it's going to be one of the best brawlers in the game now. all right guys so next up on the balance changes we have griff so griff has received a small buff to his other star power business resilience so it's increased the healing from 10 percent of missing health to from seven percent which uh from playtesting straight away i could tell that this really wasn't going to do too much so i just think the star power is just really really bad i don't think anyone's going to use this one the main reason for it is just the other star power for griff just enables him to shoot a lot faster and without it griff just feels really slow and then this one as well just feels really lackluster you're going to be healing like 100 uh, hp per second extra which in uh, relative terms really isn't a lot you can think of other gadgets like the bb gadget for example that's going to be healing you like 600 uh, healing per second whilst this one just doesn't really do too much in terms of healing overall uh, so yeah this isn't really going to change griff at all all right guys so now moving on to another buff we're going to be talking about meg so meg upon release was one of the best brothers inside of a game and they nerfed her quite hard uh, with the balances i mean she's probably like a balanced brawler right now but as i said like they nerfed her pretty quick because of how strong she was but now she's receiving a small buff so when meg uh, goes to a uh, uh, well gets destroyed from a mech uh before she had zero ammo and this really used to hurt her i used to always get annoyed playing uh, meg because a lot of the times as soon as you get destroyed you feel basically useless you, you know you have no hp and you obviously have no ammo what are you really supposed to do so now they've actually buffed us so you get 33 percent of your ammo back so that obviously mean, means one ammo bar which is pretty nice it's not going to be like a significant buff uh, but it's definitely a nice one all right guys so next up we have jackie so it wouldn't be a balance change video without jackie with some buffs and nerfs whatever you know they're really trying to change her and how she's played it so they've actually increased her hp now she has 7000 hp when using the hardy hard hat star power so maybe people might start to use that star power but the big change is with her supercharge rate so it's gone from uh, five hits all the way down to four hits which might seem pretty broken but then they've actually changed it so you don't get a shield as well i felt like the shield was just too much especially when you're cycling those supers you get obviously like that 50% uh, extra uh, HP basically because of the damage reduction. Uh, but now you actually remove that. So I'm not too sure whether this is a buff or a nerf to Jackie. I think this might be like an even playing field. I think we just wanted to remove that shield. I think it might, if anything, just be like a small 
buff because obviously she gets a little bit more base HP, but who really knows? We'll see how this one plays out. Okay, guys, so next up, we have Mortis with a nerf. So you're going to have to excuse my horrible Mortis gameplay, even against bots. I'm going to be dashing against walls. Uh, but anyways, uh, the creepy harvest star power has been nerfed. For, so the healing has gone from 1,800 to 1,400, which is going to be a significant nerf in my opinion. Maybe people might start uh, tr uh, trying out the called snake star power because it kind of got to that problem again with Mortis. Like, obviously, the change to Mortis was really, really nice. The fact that you get called snake all the time. I think that kind of addressed the issue where uh, they were saying, like, at lower levels, Mortis was just really bad, especially without the called snake star power. So they made it so every Mortis basically has that called snake. Uh, but now people are just using creepy harvest all of the time. So again, there was like a clear disparity between both star powers and there was a uh, clear disbalance. So they needed to do something about it. So again, maybe called snake might be used a little bit more than creepy harvest now. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys. So next up, one of the best brawlers in the game has received a huge nerf. Maybe this is enough to actually nerf him out of the meta. I'm not really convinced by it, but uh, Brock, he has received a big nerf. So his uh, main attack projectile speed has been reduced by 11%, which on the front of it may not seem like a lot, but as you see in the gameplay, his shots do shoot really slow. And the main issue a lot of people were having was that it just felt like you couldn't dodge Brock, right? Like whenever it was in the max range, those those rockets were just hitting you no matter what. Like the explosion radius on it was just way too easy to hit shots. You'd be able to cycle supers over and over again. And it just felt like you was using like a better version of Bell. It was just way too easy to hit shots consistently. So maybe you can actually dodge shots with this uh, slow projectile. We'll have to wait and see. All right, guys. So moving on to the final balance change of the changes. So it's going to be a really nice one to Leon. So I feel like I've actually explained uh, this nerf quite a few times while in my uh, wish list. So with Leon's gadget, it decays over time, which is the perfect change. So for me, I don't really like totems, especially... Uh, which can just give so much value so obviously the one beforehand was the bow totem you could just keep that alive for so long it was just really cheesy and it was the same effect with leon right you could put it behind like a really defensive wall on back your bow for example and if you didn't have something like a wall break or like a gadget or a thrower really to take that down it would just give so much value to not only you and your teammates and it was just really obnoxious like especially the invisibility it's one of the most toxic features in the game uh, obviously you're gonna have to waste a lot of ammo trying to scout uh, the enemies and where they are so now it actually decays over time, which you're going to have to be a lot more uh, careful of how you use the gadgets and not really waste them and just place them anywhere. So I feel like Leon will still be meta, but this is a big nerf to Leon. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know down in the comment section below who you think is going to be meta with the next update. Of course, when the update drops, I'll be giving you guys my tips and uh, brothers to push as always. But for me, I feel like Frank is actually going to be pretty decent with that power grab, with that new gadget. 5.2k damage is nothing to be shy about. That can basically nearly two shot like every single brawler in the game, right? That is just absolutely insane. So I'm looking forward to trying out that new Frank combo. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.